Hey, welcome back. It's Friday Coffee Talks number 39. Good morning to all of you out there, except Cody Bellinger. Screw you, Cody Bellinger. I hope you eat pizza that's way too hot and burn your mouth. I hope you sit in gum. And wherever you order dinner from tonight, I hope that they get your order wrong. Um, I could not dislike you more. With that out of the way, let's move back to some happier stuff. Today's going to be all about stuff that I love. Um, so I've got a, quite a lot of new things that I'd love to show off. So um, we're going to talk about things that I really love today. Uh, two main things. But first, look at this. Mandy surprised me with this hoodie when I got home this weekend. Brand new Ted Lasso hoodie. If you know, you know uh, the Believe hoodie. It is so soft and just in time for hoodie season. Could not be more thrilled about that. But the biggest thing, look at this. They shipped it with a little green army man in it. How cool is that? Uh, gosh, what a little, I mean, just a perfect little nod to the show. If you're a fan of Ted Lasso, you know what I'm talking about. Um, this is awesome. It came like in the pocket of the hoodie. It, oh, just so cool. Um, we're also rocking the pearls. It is Jocktober. Obviously started talking about the Braves. They lost last night. Bummer, you know, womp, womp, womp. But last week I said Braves in six. So they're coming home. They'll be back in Atlanta tomorrow for game six where they could close it out. Um, I'm still calling that. Um, that's going to be what I'm going for. But golly, I'm all in on Jocktober. Love Jock Peterson so much. So happy he's over with the Braves. And uh, and this guy right here, the Greek god of walk-offs and cycles, Eddie Rosario. Shout out to him. Um, been a great postseason so far, and I'm really hoping the Braves can close it out tomorrow. Um, I was in Savannah this week for a conference, uh, the Georgia Gemis Conference, where they brought IT leaders from all the state and local governments, uh, counties, municipalities, um, over to do, to, to be together and, uh, and just had a blast. We were down in Savannah, um, had an absolutely great conference, but on the way home, I did the only thing that you're supposed to do when you're driving through middle Georgia these days. And of course that's drive 30 minutes out of your way to go to Bucky's. Uh, I mean, can't go wrong, right? Um, if you've never been, there are now two Bucky's in Georgia and you need to go like today, get in the car and go. Um, Warner Robbins is the one I went to on the way home. Uh, we've also got one up in Calhoun now, but um, it's like an amusement park and a gas station and a Walmart and all these things rolled into one. So shout out to Bucky's. This is the number one thing that I'm loving today. Mm. I got beef jerky and kolaches and barbecue and beaver nuggets and a new mug. So um, if you haven't been to Bucky's, it's it's like a paradise. It's like a, a wonderful fantasy land of delicious things and deer feed and camo and all this random stuff. And they have a wall of jerky. Um, so if you're a jerky fan, go to Bucky's. If you're not a jerky fan, still go to Bucky's. Um, the other thing is the coffee that I'm drinking it uh, drinking out of it uh, is from the good folks at Savannah Coffee Roasters. So Savannah is a very special town for us. Um, in college, me and my friends used to go for St. Patrick's Day every year. Um, obviously, I make for a pretty good leprechaun. So um, being on the streets of River Street in my green blazer and my little hat, uh, dressed up as a leprechaun, just bring back like the fondest memories. We had so much fun down there. Um, and all those memories come flooding back as soon as you see those cobblestones. Um, so had a couple of opportunities to walk down River Street this, uh, this time. Once as the sun rose, listening to music, walking down River Street by myself, essentially, um, just so nice. Uh, Mandy and I got engaged in Savannah. Um, we celebrated our engagement at the Lady and Sons, Paula Dean's restaurant, um, which is is so wonderful. Our daughter's name Savannah because of that. Uh, but this time, you know, River Street Suites for pralines and fudge. Breakfast at B. Matthews. Um, Savannah Coffee Roasters is where I got this coffee from. This is one of their signature blends, and it is delicious. Um, you just really can't go wrong. So if you haven't been to Savannah, make your way down there. It's an absolute treasure of a city. You will not be disappointed. I can almost guarantee it. Um, I'm going to go finish this lovely cup of coffee. Shout out to Bucky's. Love you guys. Have a great week. We'll see you next time. Thanks.